Imagine this. India possessing a missile that can hit a target 2,500 kilometers away, traveling so fast that the enemy barely has time to blink, let alone react. A weapon that zips through the air at 10 times the speed of sound, hugs the earth to avoid radar, and yes, can even carry a nuclear payload. Sounds like science fiction. Well, not anymore. This is Project Vishnu. Now let me put this into perspective. Only the US, Russia and China can boast of operational hypersonic missiles. India is now on the verge of joining this ultra-exclusive club. Project Vishnu is not just another missile. It's the codename for India's Extended Trajectory Hypersonic Cruise Missile. In simple terms, it's designed to strike hard, strike deep, and strike without warning. Let's break down what makes Vishnu so deadly. First, speed. We're talking Mach 8 to Mach 10. That's up to 11,000 km per hour. Imagine crossing from Delhi to Chennai in just under two minutes. Next, range. For surface-to-surface, -surface, it's up to 2,500 kilometers. Air-launched version, up to 750 kilometers. Now, how does it achieve this? The answer, a scramjet engine. This powerhouse breathes in air, ignites it at supersonic speeds, and sustains incredible velocity. But speed alone isn't enough. Vishnu can fly extremely low, hugging the terrain to avoid radar and dodge enemy interceptors. Its body is made with advanced materials built to survive searing temperatures over 2,000 degrees Celsius. Unlike old-school ballistic missiles, Vishnu isn't stuck to one path. It can twist and turn mid-flight, making interception nearly impossible. And the payload? It can carry conventional explosives or, if needed, nuclear warheads up to two tons. Why does all this matter? With Vishnu, India is not just catching up. It's leapfrogging into the future of warfare technology. China's DF-17, Russia's Zircon, America's ARW, these have dominated headlines. Now, the world has to watch out for an Indian challenger. Vishnu could genuinely shift the balance of military power in the Indo-Pacific. It's a huge step in propulsion, material science, and strategic deterrence. Now, let me ask you, do you think hypersonic weapons like Vishnu make nuclear deterrence safer or just more risky? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm reading each one. And if you're as passionate as I am about India's future in science and defense, don't forget to subscribe to at CX24. The future is closer than you think.